High blood pressure? What? Blood pressure is the pressure that your circulating blood puts on your blood vessel walls. It has two components. Systolic and diastolic. Your diastolic pressure is the resting tension of your blood vessel walls between heartbeats. Your systolic pressure is the force your blood is pumped with during heartbeats. So what is a normal blood pressure? Well, it depends. Many factors affect your blood pressure. This is why your blood pressure fluctuates through the day, and why different people have a different normal range. Then how do doctors know who needs treatment? Good question. Doctors and scientists have found that controlling blood pressure below these targets significantly reduces damage to organs. But, why should I take tablets? When I feel fine. Hmm. Let me explain. High blood pressure is dangerous because, 1, in most people it causes no symptoms. 2, it irreversibly damages your organs. Namely your heart, your kidneys, your eyes, and your brain. And meanwhile, you feel absolutely nothing. And if you're not aware that your blood pressure is extremely high, your first symptom may be an emergency. <gasps> Sorry to be so direct. You get it now? Okay, I get it. Can I fix this? Unless your high blood pressure is caused by genetics or disease, there are lifestyle factors that can be changed, which may help. These include Alcohol Obesity Excess salt Smoking Stress Disturbed sleep Excess caffeine These lifestyle factors all raise your blood pressure. So if I improve all these lifestyle factors, my blood pressure could reduce? Yes. In addition to any drugs your doctor has given you, but more importantly, improved lifestyle can prevent. And how can I check that it's working, and my blood pressure is coming down? Doctors recommend that every household should have a blood pressure machine. You can write down your home readings, then the doctor will compare them to the blood pressure targets, and advise what needs to happen next. Are the machines easy to use? Very easy. Let's demonstrate. Take a seat, sir. So, first we expose your arm, well above the elbow. Then we wrap the cuff around your elbow, so the arrow is pointing up the middle of your arm. Before we take the reading, stop. Just take a few seconds to relax. Ready? Yes. Okay. It's important to measure your blood pressure on both arms. And if one is higher, you use the arm with the high blood pressure, for subsequent readings. So, remember. Every household should have a blood pressure machine. And these are the targets.